Mundo Deportivo and Sport, uh, the Catalan newspapers, both leading with the fact that he said he wanted to go. Barcelona heavily linked to a move for the Bayern man. Uh, this is what, um, what Bayern Munich had to say about the situation. Robert Lewandowski has a contract until the 30th of June 2023 and he will play with us until then. We can't be talking about obligating someone to fulfill their contract. He is within his right to not want to extend his contract. He also joined us for free. Uh, right then, Sid. Lewandowski, how possible is this? Well, in a way, I think the best answer for this is the one that Xavi Hernandez gave. And he wasn't at specifically talking about Lewandowski. In fact, when he was asked about Lewandowski and is this player too old, he said the age isn't a problem. Look, I signed Dani Alves at 38. But he did say that everything they do, there is a difference between what they want to do and what they can do. And of course, this was focused on Frankie de Jong, this idea that, yes, this is an important player for me, but the economics dictate. And of course, with Lewandowski, the same will be true. Now, from Barcelona's point of view, getting someone like Lewandowski on a free transfer, when you can maybe spread the wages across, a, a contract, a player who really wants to come and maybe doesn't necessarily demand enormous wages, this is, looks like a very good idea. The problem is, as you've just said, if Bayern Munich are in a position where we say, well, we actually, you know, we don't back down here. We don't let this guy go for free. We don't necessarily allow this to be just a sense of, listen, thanks very much, you play brilliantly, we'll facilitate things now. They have said publicly that they won't. Now, this still has, I think, some way to play out. But right now, economically, if Bayern Munich are not going to Help out is not quite the right phrase, but, if, but you know what I mean? If Bayern Munich are not going to play ball, then I think um, Atletico Madrid, uh, sorry, Barcelona are going to find it very difficult indeed. Jules, is it Barcelona or bust? I don't think so. I think there will be other clubs. We know that, for example, PSG, and we wrote it on the website last week, in case... Kylian Mbappe leaves and he's announced tonight when he was voted player of the season that he will announce his decision very, very soon now. So we will know soon that Lewandowski is part of the short list. I think if you're Chelsea and Lukaku goes and you're looking for number nine, Lewandowski will be on your short list as well. So it's not just Barcelona, but Sid is right. Right now, they can't afford him because Bayern are going to ask for, I think, quite substantial uh, transfer fee, considering he only has one year left on his contract, uh, and with the wages, Barca right now don't have that kind of money anyway. So it's still a long way. Even if he's agreed personal terms, for example, which I believe is probably true, Pini Zahavi has been talking with Barcelona for a long time now. But the transfer fee could be the problem here, and it could, and it would not be the problem for a PSG or Chelsea, for example. So Barca maybe leading the race, of course, and the talks have well advanced compared to others maybe but again financially there might be a few obstacles be between them signing him and other clubs for example thanks so much for watching espn on youtube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the espn app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to espn plus